Hello, this is Myra Elaine on the Buying Space channel. I'm continuing my series on Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the four Gospels, and the first four books of the New Testament. I'm starting today in Chapter 3, and the title of the segment is John the Baptist Prepares the Way. Chapter 3, Verse 1. It is now the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius, the Roman emperor. Pontius Pilate was the governor over Judea. Herod Antipodus was ruler over the Galilee. His brother Philip was ruler over Atura and Trachonitis. Lysanias was the ruler over Abilene and Ananias and Sophias were the high priest. At this time, a message from God came to John, son of Zechariah, who was living in the wilderness. Then John went from place to place on both sides of the Jordan River, preaching that people should be baptized to show that they are repentant of their sins and turn to God to be forgiven. Isaiah had spoken of John when he said, he is a voice shouting in the wilderness, preparing, prepare the way for the Lord's coming. Clear the road for him. The valleys will be filled and the mountains and hills made level. The curves will be straightened and the rough places made smooth. And then all people will see salvation sent from God. Isaiah said that. When the crowds came to John for baptism, he said, you brood of snakes, you war who warned you to flee the coming wrath? Prove by the way that you live that you have repented of your sins and turned to God. Don't just say to each other, we're safe for we are descendants of Abraham. That means nothing for I tell you God can create children of Abraham from these very stones. Now, even now, the axe of God's judgment is poised ready to serve the roots of the trees. Sever, sever the roots of the trees. Yes, every tree that does not produce good fruit will be chopped down and thrown into the fire. The crowds asked, what should we do? John replied, if you have two shirts, give one to the poor. If you have food, Share it with those who are hungry. Even corrupt tax collectors come to be baptized and ask, Teacher, what shall we do? He replies, Collect no more taxes than the government requires. What should we do? asked some soldiers. John replied, Don't extort, extort money or make false accusations and be content with your pay. Everyone was expecting the Messiah to come soon, and they were eager to know whether John might be the Messiah. John answered their questions by saying, I baptize you with water, but someone is coming soon who is greater than I am, so much greater than I'm not even worthy to be his slave and untie the straps of his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. He is ready to separate the chaff from the wheat and his, with his winnowing fork. Then he will clean up on the thrashing area, gathering the wheat into his barn, but burning the chaff with never-ending fire. John used many such warnings as he announced the good news to the people. John also publicly criticized Herod, the ruler of Galilee, for marrying Herodias, his brother's wife, for the many other wrongs he had done. So Herod put John in prison, adding his sin to many others. So here, 
John is put in jail for speaking the truth. From what I understand, Herod's wife's husband died under suspicious circumstances. It's like the king sending the uh, beautiful wife's husband off to war and putting him in the front line where he surely will die. There are ways in our modern society to put people in harm's way where they're likely to perish or be destroyed in some other way. And I think we've all seen examples of this. And this is what Herod did to obtain this beautiful woman to marry her and still be able to do it under the law. But people know when you do something immoral. If you're married and you go off and play pretend you're married with somebody else, people know that that's wrong. God knows that's wrong. And then to turn around and act like you're the pious one. That you're the holy one. That you're the good one. You're the quote unquote normal one. God knows the difference. God knows who's being honest and living a righteous life. And who's not. Even though society might look at one and say, oh, they're the normal one. When they are not. Appearances are deceiving, and you don't know people's history, and you don't know what all this happened. And someone might look good. They might even be a Sunday school teacher, but you know, God knows the truth. Have a wonderful and blessed day, everyone.